Over here, my hero. <laughs> oh, I guess that you got me. It is only the two of us now, I see. <laughs> Why am I doing this to all these people? It's always the same questions. I know that you know why I'm doing all of this. And if not, read my biography. <laughs> but really, it is useless to explain that. Especially you should understand that. I mean, the last time you really couldn't save all of them, which was pretty weak. At least, that's what all these people on the news and those on the streets say. I don't think that way at all. It only shows that you're human. Just like me. I don't act like it doesn't bother you, my dear. Don't act like you can't understand. Because I'm pretty sure you do. You know exactly how it feels to be hated, don't you? You know exactly how it feels to be the villain, although you're the hero. Another reason why I don't understand that you're still doing what you're doing. It really is incredible. Applause. You have to go through so much pain, such agony, because of these assholes of people, so-called humans, that just won't appreciate you. That's why I turned my back on society. And as I already said, they are just so-called human beings. But you know, most of them are more monstrous than the worst women. They aren't thankful for getting their asses saved, quite the opposite. They're upset that you weren't there earlier. As if those monsters could have done a better job. I'm just so sick of all these hypocrites, and I know that you are as well. I've seen you dropping that man after he yelled at you, after he yelled all these rude things. I saw it in your eyes. The urge to kill. The realization that you were never meant to end like this. I would have done the same. Instead of this bloodsucker you rescued the little girl. Just, just like a real hero. It was the first time you actually impressed me. You know. <sighs> <laughs> oh my love, you're so clueless, it's almost cute. I wouldn't be money loving without a deeper sense. In about two minutes, <laughs> the Martin and Sanderson's building will only be dust. You know why I chose this very building, my honey. <sighs> oh, there is no stopping me from that. You are aware of what is happening there, with the people that work there. Scratch that. Sell their souls to those murderers. My family was one of them. You have not a single clue what they do to kids, especially young girls. There is not one good cell inside these abusers. That's why I won't stop about this point. And if you would be at least once a human being just like me and not the people pleaser you tend to be. Then prove it. Prove it to me by doing nothing against it. Against me. And finally, choose to follow me. <laughs> You're running out of time, my dearest. And no, I don't care about the people in the main building. These are not like my parents. These are awful hypocrites as well. Now, decide. Even though there's not that much to decide at this point, <laughs> since you stayed here until now. Boom, I guess my love. <laughs> That's why I love you so much. You're so unpredictable. 
It's almost funny how he's staring at me right now. Is something wrong? <laughs> oh, that's right. I was holding the remote for the bomb the entire time in my hand. What a coincidence. The only question is, did you just don't want to see it or did you ignore it on purpose? I love that look on your face. It truly is priceless. Now you don't have to answer. You don't want to mess up that pretty head of yours. Now, last question for today. Do you want to follow me, my tragic, misunderstood hero? I would be more than pleased if you did. <laughs> I see. Still hesitating. But you shouldn't. Really. But I accept that. Don't worry. I won't withdraw my offer, since it's you. Let me get at least one thing straight. I won't ever judge you like these assholes do. I will be there for you. And the most important thing, my lovely hero, I will always try to understand your point and you as a person. In return, you would only stay with me and we'd be happy together. Until ever after. <laughs> uh, this is the chance of your life. No one knows our actual voices or our faces. We could have gone down this last epic fight. While in reality, we just reached our lives, started living like normal people, and finally leave these masks of our past behind and be free with each other. What do you say? Is that a deal, my darling?